apologize if I don't pronounce the names properly. You can correct me. I'll be here to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, as goalkeepers, uh, it's uh, Ronan Williams and Bruce Bavuma. Yeah. In defense, we have Rivaldo Kotze, Nikosinati Sibisi, yes. Mosa Lebusa, Rashin De Ruck, Innocent Maela, Craig Martin, Aubrey Modiba, and Sibusio Mabiliso. In midfield, we have Tabang Monare, Motobi Mvala, Sifo Mbule, Keegan Dolly, Teboho Mokoena, Leboang Mabu. And as strikers, we have Bongo Kulo, Longwane, Persitao, and Tabiso Kutumela. What a lineup! And straight away, <laughs> the lines are lighting up, coach. My mind is on fire because looking at that squad, the first thing I notice, you have dropped the captain. Tulani Sajwayo is not part of your very first Bafana Bafana lineup. Mm. Let's talk about that. You know, um, I was getting much information the, the last days. Uh, I talked with uh, my assistant coach uh, and we made a list. And I didn't really look at who is the captain, uh, from which teams they came and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. I just wanted a good list for me for the first time and we will see. This is the first list. So this is not something with, with, with who we will work for three, four months. Uh, maybe, and, and for sure, I'm for sure. In uh, September there will be other names in, the, in that list and then yeah, we will see, maybe the captain is uh, again there. But I heard also that they didn't have really a good season. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not forgotten, certainly not. But it is my list for uh, the game against Uganda. Uh, Uganda. There you hear it, South Africa. It, uh, Tulani Sadrayo left out for that game against uh, Uganda coming up on the 10th. There's still more things that I noticed there, coach. Only two foreign-based players are in that lineup as it stands now. As I look at the list, Keegan Dolly as well as Percy Dow. Those are the only two foreign-based yeah. players you've called. Yes, but uh, there was a little problem. <clears throat> so uh, I didn't know that uh, there was an agreement between Safa and the league to play on the fifth. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, at the sixth we could come together with the players and then to play a game on ninth or tenth. When you see that and you know that in Europe this weekend all competitions are stopping. So that means that the players from abroad has 14 days holidays before they will play that game with Bafana Bafana. So it's not done and uh, I can assure you it happens once that uh, there is a league game in the period FIFA period mm. and it shall be the last time because I will not accept it anymore in the future that there is a game during a FIFA period. Mm. It's not allowed and I hope, I hope that Safa doesn't get a fine for that. From my understanding it was a, that the PSL and Safa are trying to help the clubs playing in CAF competition to not have such a crowded calendar that the league now ends on the 5th of uh, June as opposed to uh, a week earlier. I can understand because it's the last game of the league and so if you have to postpone it till the 12th of June mm. It's a little bit difficult for the club and therefore I agreed, therefore I agreed. Mm. But again, this is the first time and it will be the last time. FIFA periods allowed to Bafana Bafana, to the national team. Mm. And we don't have to play a league game. There are many other uh, moments they can play that game. But again, it was a little bit special because of postponing those uh, qualification games for, uh, for the World Cup. So. Okay, I understand, but again, it will be the last time. Coach, looking at your squad again, and I know South Africans maybe will be keeping a glimpse of it as we look at it there, but you've also only called two players from David Nodwani's under-23 squad going to the Olympic Games. That might surprise a lot of people. Yeah, but that's, that's a problem too, because uh, there's a tournament in Dubai from the 3rd of May till the 12th of June. And if you see what the, what the trajectory he made with that team, mm. he was qualifying for the Olympics. I don't want to take him players for only one game with Bafana Bafana. It's better that he stay with him. So I discussed with him and I said, yes, what you are going to do? And he was ready to give me those two players. So I was very happy. But in the future and after the Olympic Games, we talk together and I will be sure there will be more players then than uh, they are now from uh, under 23. So coach, um, I was looking at the squad and maybe we can look at that very quickly again. 
There are a couple of names there. Uh, for instance, Bruce Vuma. You've gone for him in terms of the goalkeeping department. That will surprise a lot of people. Yeah, but um, when you see the age of the keepers, they were. Um, Williams is 29, mm. I think. But the other, Valley and the others were 31 or 30. So we have to think about the future. So I need a young keeper. In two years, those are guys who are 33, 34. Mm. So this, we have to look for that. And I saw the game Kaiser Chiefs against Simba mm. last week. Mm. Um, and I was very early there because I wanted to see the warming up. You can see much things in the warming up of a keeper. So and I was impressed in what he was doing and also his game was good. So we will give him a chance and it's up to him, it's up to him to, to show that he's able to be with Bafana Bafana. Again, let's move on coach because there's some really exciting players that you've called up. Uh, and as we look here at your defenders, Ngos Nasi Sibisi and Smusiso Mabaliso, those are brand new, never been called up to Bafana Bafana. Yeah. Clearly they've caught your eye or when you were talking to Helman Kalele, bringing absolutely uncapped players into the squad. Yes, um, I said from the beginning, uh, one week ago I was here on the same table and I said we have to rebuild to remake a team. We have to look for young players. Mm. So with my uh, new assistant, um, we talked about it. I need, as coach of uh, under 20, he knows uh, the young players. I talked also with the U23 coach. So I had a lot of information of young players. Mm. And therefore, again, they will have the chance now to show me um, how good they are. And if uh, they do, okay, then we did a good jo job, I think. And looking at the, the middle of the park, there's anything stand out to you, South Africa? You can get involved with us on social media as well. Speak to us uh, on hashtag we love it. Yeah, that's SABC's hashtag and tell us what you think of the uh, coaches of Bafana Bafana lineup. There it is as we look at the middle of the park. Again here, coach, you speak about rebuilding. I look there and I see there's a lot of experience though. You've, in the middle of the park, you've called quite a lot of experienced, uh, uh, you might even call older players. Yeah, but also that I said already. Uh, don't think now that we are going to play with all players of 22, 23 years old. Mm -hmm. You need experience. And certainly in that part of, um, of your team, it's a very important part. So again, again, this is not Oh, this is not something that will be for the next months. They will have their chance now and we will see. And also, also, the, the under 23 are not there. Mm. So again, for September, maybe that will change also. So we will see even younger players coming in when uh, David Notwani's under 23s become available there away on uh, that tournament that you spoke about, yeah. preparing for the Olympic Games. And then up front, a huge surprise up front there, coach. You've gone for a combination that's playing together uh, in a club side right now with the Maritzburg United strike force. Bongo Butle, Songwani and Tabiso Kutumela working together. Yeah. And there, young player, 20 year old South African in Songwani. Yeah. Again, I think uh, young players are important. They will get this chance now. And I need it also because this is something I was thinking about. Strong um, uh, front players, strong mm. strikers. Percy Taub is a very good player, but he's not a player who will be in front, really in front. Mm. He's more a player who can play around a strong striker. So I will see with those two what we can do in the future. And again, again, they are young, so uh, I think it's uh, something we like. Was it important that you went for a combination that plays together? No, no, no. You didn't look at it and say they're both at Maritzburg, no. Maritzburg are doing well up front. You didn't no. look at that, you just no, looked at the no, individuals? No, no. Again, again, we had uh, several candidates for uh, a striker and I discussed it with my, uh, with my assistants mm. and also again with the under 23 coach. And I think uh, those are for the moment for the moment, the best choice to do. Is that something that you do look at, combinations in clubs? Uh, will you look at that in the future to say they're doing well at a club? Maybe we might call two players that do well together or you're, maybe, you're maybe, open to anything? Maybe sometimes, sometimes, uh, but uh, it's not for me uh, something that, uh, that it has to be there. Mm. It's not because there's a combination of players who are playing together in his team that I will call them both. No, I just call the players who deserve it to be with Bafana Bafana. And if, as coincidence, there are two players who are in the same team, like those two strikers, okay. But this is not something I'm looking for. 
it's a great squad, coach. It's a, a squad that we look forward to seeing play against Uganda on the 10th. Now, what do you want to achieve in that game? What should we as South Africans be looking out for when this Bafana squad, your first one, takes to the field? First of all, I want to see a good game. This is the most important. I want to see motivation. I want to see the players who want to show something. Because this is important. Mm. As I said in the, in the past, I want to make a team. A team. So, and in a team, you have, you have to work, you have to do your job. So I will see in that game against Uganda mm. who those players are playing, what are the motivation, uh, are they battling, are they struggling in the, in the game. I will see. So this is very important for me to see that. And uh, uh, it will be certainly for me um, a good support to see what can I do in the future with those players. Can, they, can I call them uh, again or, okay, you uh, didn't do it like I wanted, so it will be other players. And coach, in the next few weeks, this right now on SABC and as our viewers are uh, participating on social media at SABC Sport is where you can uh, get hold of us there. When the players now have seen their names called up, they sing it exclusive on the SABC, what do you want them to be feeling, to be thinking in the next few weeks before they get to meet you in the Bafana Bafana camp? They now know they're called up. Some of them are brand new. Yes, I, I hope that uh, they will be motivated. And certainly the new ones. I think for them uh, there is something special happening. Mm. They can be Bafana Bafana for years when they are young. So what's better and what's nicer to be a Bafana Bafana? I was uh, myself a player. I played in the national team of Belgium. This was for me an honor to be there. So I hope, I hope that I get that mindset to the players that when they come to Bafana Bafana, it has to be an honor. There's a certain responsibility to the people in South Africa. They have to play their game. They have to fight for it. So I think young players normally has this motivation. But I wanted to see it also from the older. And then players who haven't been called up this occasion, players like uh, Itumile Nkune, players like uh, Tulani Slajwai or Temba Zwani, uh, just to name a couple, what should they be feeling right now, coaches? They've tuned in to look at the first squad that you've named. I hope they are not disappointed. Yeah, they can be disappointed because they were not with Bafala Bafala today. Mm. I can assure them, I can assure them that they are not forgotten either. I will need them certainly, I will need all players, I will like to have a group of players of 40, 40 players who are able to play in Bafana Bafana. I don't know if I, if I can uh, do that, mm. we will see. But then I will have uh, a pool to fish. Okay, I can take this one, I take this one. So don't be too much disappointed for those players who are not there now. They are not forgotten. They are on my list. And I will see for the next games what I will do with that. Let's confirm one more time, coach. Let's go through the squad. Let's get South Africans who are just tuning in to uh, the uh, first Bafana Bafana squad announced by coach Hugo Bruce since taking over as coach of Bafana Bafana. They are in action against Uganda. And in that uh, goalkeeping department, there it is. Ronwin Williams, we know him. Bruce Vuma, another uh, surprise package. The Kaiser Chiefs keeper impressing the coach. Coach, as we move on to uh, the uh, defensive department. This is an area that I know you're going to have very special eye on. You were a defender in your time. Yeah. So how important is this area for you? You know, when you have a good defense, you have, from the beginning, you have one point. <laughs> and this is very important. Mm. And this was a little bit when I saw the games in uh, uh, preparation, qualification games for Africa. Mm. Uh, South Africa get much goals. So that is something we have to improve mm. if you want to win. Uh, a, a game, it's very important that you have a strong defense. So this is important for, uh, for Bafana Bafana. Rivaldo Kutsia, the Mamilodi Sundowns man, you have him as a defender on your list. We know him this season to be yeah. playing a little bit further forward for Mamilodi Sundowns. Yeah. What are you going to do with him? I think now for this game he will be a, there as a defender. Um, also because I explained already the choice of, uh, of players was not so easy. But, but maybe uh, it's, it's very interesting for a for coach uh, that you have a player who can play on different positions. So and Kotsi is someone like that. So I will see now where he's playing uh, as a defender and I will have certainly the opportunity in August 
when the league is starting again, to see him maybe in front of defense. Mm. So, and then I will, I will make my choice for him. A lot of excitement about your call-up for Sipombule, Super Sport United man has been doing well this season. And if we look at Keegan Dolly, why make him one of only two players that you're calling up from overseas? Yeah, this is something that has to do with uh, whatever I need in defense, whatever I need in, uh, in as a striker. Mm. And I, I, would, um, I would call um, uh, Motiba from, uh, from Strasbourg. Yes. But he's injured. So he couldn't be there, mm -hmm. otherwise he had to be there also. Um, so we only two, okay, uh, for this uh, game it's enough. But again, I will look for, uh, for December, October, November, there will be more players from abroad, that is for sure. And up front, South Africa, we want your views on this. Hashtag, we love it here. Get onto our social media for SABC Sport and give us your views. Bafana Bafana will be praying a friendly against Uganda on the 10th of June. The coach has announced his squad and coach. The conversations that are now happening between you and your assistant coach, Helman Nkelele, a true legend of South African football. The Midnight Express has done so much for this country. How are those conversations? How much of a help is he being to you? And has he been to you in selecting this first squad? Uh, first of all, I have to say that uh, at the end, there were two candidates. It was him or the U23 coach. David Notwani. Yeah. I spoke to him and uh, I saw the tragic he made and uh, I think it's very important for me that he's staying with the under 23. Mm -hmm. He made a fantastic job and he will make it in the future also. So when we can achieve our goals as Befana Befana, he will be a big part of it. He will be a big part of that. And at the other side, I have so the under 22 coach, Makalele. So also he knows very uh, knows uh, a lot about uh, the young players. Mm. So I have two coaches here, with who I can work for young players. I think this is very really fantastic for me, mm. and uh, I think we will have a straight line now. First of all, in Makalele, he knows 20 and under 20, and then with the coach of U23. Um, so for the future of Bafana Bafana, I think it's a good situation, it's a good combination. Coach, I know you've got a busy afternoon, you're off to watch uh, calf football, right? Yes, first of all, I have to get my, uh, my test for COVID because I'm going back tomorrow to Belgium. Yeah. But in the afternoon, I'm going to see uh, Sundowns against, uh, against Alali uh, in the stadium. So, uh, yes, I, uh, I think it's time to go now. Yes, it is. So, the coach has given you his squad announcement. He's headed back to Belgium to get his second jab for his COVID test. And then he's coming straight back to South Africa to prepare for that game against Uganda. Owen. I know the squad is an amazing squad. We love what we see there. We're happy the coach did it exclusively live with us here on Sports Arena. But I know South Africans will be talking about Tulani Tlachwaya, the captain. He's not in the squad. Well, the coach has delivered in his first promise. He said that he was going to choose a very young squad, and so far he's delivered. So we ticked the box already. I love that. I love that, Thomas. Mm. Um, secondly, also locally based players making the list. Our 17 of them are playing in the DSTV Premiership. Fantastic to see only two players internationally making that list. Uh, Percy Tao and Keegan Doddy, the international players. So, so far, I think uh, all the boxes are being checked right now. We'll wait for him to announce who his captain will be for this international friendly on the 10th of June against Uganda. I guess the coach has got some time on his hands, but we would love to know from you back home on at sport at SABC is our Twitter handle. Who, what do you make of this team that uh, coach Hugo Bruce has chosen to play in the international friendly against Uganda? So leave your thoughts there. We would love to hear from you and uh, we'll definitely touch on that later on the show. Well, the coach has to run. He has to get to a calf game between uh, Mamalodi Sundowns as well as our Ali. Well, we got plenty more for you right here on Sports Arena, so stay with us.